comments and questions coming in. Um, and again, we're gonna we're gonna drop your website tune at the end of this, so people, if they're interested in contacting you directly, they have they have your uh, your details. There is one more question, and the, and then I want to get into the language like we spoke about, uh, like you mentioned. Uh, Melissa wants to know what are your options if someone refuses to sign a waiver that you've you've passed along, um, whether what, whatever step in the process you have it. Say it's ideal and you have it at the beginning of the booking process. Is it is that a, is that sort of a deal breaker when you're when you're working with a client? Um, for I would say for companies that have been at it for a while. Um, because I do think your mentality changes <laughs> the longer you've been in business and experience certain things. Um, but for them, not signing the waiver is non-negotiable. Um, and I would say here that I always say that waivers, yes, they're a contract, but they're also a screening tool. Waivers have a way of sort of sussing out people who really shouldn't be going on the trip. Maybe there's pressure from their family to go. They're not feeling good about the trip for some reason. Um, and no matter how you, much you want that booking, that person may not be right for the trip because if they're looking for the waiver, if they're, if they're kind of nitpicking the waiver, just think of what they're going to nitpick later, yeah. right? Like 99% of the time, that's the person who's going to complain about everything that happens on a trip. And then, boy, if something happens, they're going to sue you. Um, so, uh, that's, you know, that's always a risk, but, um, sometimes what we find is someone might want an edit to the waiver. I would say generally no editing. You're not striking out language, except once in a while, someone will ask for an edit that is consistent with the law. Um, for instance, you can't waive gross negligence, right? That's against public policy. You cannot by contract have someone sign away the right to sue you for doing something purposely, right? Um, you sabotage their trip on purpose. No, you, you, you can't get that waived. Um, you are grossly negligent, right? Let's say I like scuba diving. Let's say I, I go to some dive shop. I know I could go down and something could happen underwater, but what I don't expect is that they're not servicing the tanks, right? They're not doing those things. Um, they've got all sorts of safety violations. That can't be waived. So if somebody wants to kind of tinker with it and add in that um, they're not waiving the right to sue you for gross negligence or intentional misconduct, I'm okay with that because that mirrors the law. Okay. We can say that for in a particular situation. Okay. Um, and I see I am.